Crazy Grandma Brenda here. We are going to make mashed potatoes. Now, these mashed potatoes are great if you want to make your mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner the day ahead. Who would have thought? So, I got these from the Pioneer Woman, who I love, love her recipes. And so, just there's just a few different things about these mashed potatoes than other mashed potatoes. But we're just gonna start with the basics. So we've peeled our potatoes. The most important part about your potatoes being cut is trying to make them as uniform as possible. And I do fairly big chunks, but just try to make them pretty much as close to all the same as you can so that they will cook evenly. Okay, just a few tips. First of all, the type of potato that you use can make a difference. It just depends on what you're cooking your potatoes for. So a lot of people like to use Yukon Gold. It kind of makes a more creamy, more kind of buttery mashed potato. I do like Yukon Golds, um, but I love russets. I'm just a russet girl. My husband grew up in Idaho, Idaho potatoes, get harvested in the fall and we buy a hundred pounds of potatoes to get us through the winter. And so we love russet potatoes. So that's what I've used today. Um, if you're making a red mashed potato, um, you wouldn't use that for gravy, for instance. I wouldn't put gravy over a red potato because it's more of a sweeter potato. Um, the other thing is trying to figure out how much to make for your family. So Thanksgiving, you have so much food to choose from. So plan a little bit less. When I'm having Sunday dinner, I plan a potato a person just because my family loves their mashed potatoes and a potato a person is what they're gonna eat because there's not a ton of variety of foods. But for Thanksgiving, you're pretty safe by planning on half a potato per person, including your little kids. So if you just plan how many people are coming, including your little, your grandkids, and do a half a potato a person, the littles won't eat half a potato, but some of the adults will eat more. That's just a general rule of thumb. Okay, we're gonna cook the potatoes and then we'll be back. Okay, come over here so you can see how to check if the potato's ready. If it breaks apart, it's good, mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna drain these potatoes. Okay, one of the things that the Pioneer Woman um, recipe tells you to do is to keep your potatoes on low after you have drained off all the water, then you take a potato masher and mash them to get all of the steam out of the potatoes. Now, at this point, you could just, you wouldn't have to use an electric mixer if you like your potatoes more chunky you could just add all of your things and continue mashing by hand but I actually like super smooth potatoes with just a few little chunks so we're gonna add um, one and a half cubes of butter and this is the key to keeping the mashed potatoes so that the day after they're not falling apart because I really don't like leftover mashed potatoes because they're even if I add stuff to it, I just don't think they're the same. This will keep your mashed potatoes nice and creamy so that you can make them the day before. This is kind of the key. It's by putting a package of cream cheese in. And then just keep mashing. at this point you can use some seasoning salt or just regular sea salt this is a garlic sea salt that I'm using and then some pepper okay and then I will get my 
hand mixer. Okay, this is um, one of the things that my mother-in-law taught me about mashed potatoes because she made the best mashed potatoes. The thing that she taught me was that you mix up your potatoes as smooth as you can get them and you do not add the milk till the very end. Your potatoes should be mashed to the consistency that you like and then you add your milk or cream or whatever and you only blend it for a few seconds after that so that it doesn't get all sticky. So we're gonna blend this for a little bit. These are pretty darn creamy right here. So I probably won't add any more dairy to it. I probably won't add any more milk to it. So now I'm gonna just dish it into a crock pot and put it on low because today is our Thanksgiving dinner. So I just made them early. But if you wanna make them, like I said, the day before, then you can just leave them in the fridge, take them out, turn on your oven to 350 degrees, pop them in the oven and warm them up just before you're gonna be serving dinner. So if you like this video and would like to continue to see videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell and you will be notified when we come out with more great Crazy Grandma videos. Have a great day and have a crazy day.